हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर विभोर बोरकर पीडियाट्रिक हिपेटोलॉजिस्ट गैस्ट्रेंटोलॉजिस्ट एंड लिवर ट्रांसप्लांट फिजिशियन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन मुंबई एंड वेस्टर्न इंडिया टुडे ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ वर्ल्ड हिपेटाइटिस डे we are going to discuss a very important topic that is hepatitis in children every year this day is dedicated to spread the awareness about hepatitis and this year's theme is hepatitis let's break it down so we are going to break it step by step and come to know about what's exactly hepatitis in children let's understand what do you mean by hepatitis literal meaning of hepatitis is inflammation it means the liver is solar and there is a edematous so any insult to the liver can cause it so there are many causes of hepatitis most common are infections like viral infections bacterial infections parasitic infections like malaria there can be hepatitis because of medication sometimes because of autoimmune diseases toxins so there can be many causes and the most common in indian scenario and that to in children are different types of viral hepatitis so the predominant liver related infections are hepatitis a hepatitis b hepatitis c and hepatitis e now let's see how this individual hepatitis infection is caused and how to deal with them most common is hepatitis a now it spread by consuming contaminated water and food so if someone is drinking an unhygienic food unclean water there are chances that it can occur and that's why it's very common in developing countries like india and nearby asian countries generally it is seen in the areas where there is a poor sanitation limited water supply and because of that there is a scarcity of water and most of the time these infections are mild self limited but sometimes they can progress to something seriousness called as liver failure now let's see about hepatitis b again this is again a viral infection but this infection occurs from person to person through a contaminated blood used syringes and most common in india is from mother to the baby transmission so if the mother is having hepatitis b there are chances that even the baby can get hepatitis b these infections will stay for very long time in body that we call as a chronic hepatitis b if they are getting early in life 90% of them will go to the chronicity but if an adult gets an hepatitis b 80 to 90% of the time the body fights it out and 10 to 15% of the time they can go to the chronicity now let's see about hepatitis c now hepatitis c mostly occurs because of shared injections or contaminated blood so it's very important when you are using a blood products you are using this blood products from a certified blood banks again hepatitis c generally when it occurs it can cause a chronic infection now let's see about hepatitis e like hepatitis a hepatitis e also is spread by consumption of a contaminated water and food again this disease is seen more in the developing countries like india and asian countries the severity of hepatitis e is seen more in pregnant ladies but it can affect any age group now let's see what are the symptoms of this hepatitis a generally when you get an acute hepatitis a the most common symptom what we call as a prodromal symptom means in early phase so what an individual gets it is that one can get nausea vomiting fever pain in the upper side of the abdomen then would get a jaundice it means there is a yellowness in the eyes skin urine turns yellow sometimes even the stool can becomes white and if the disease is severe the jaundice can be very high and sometimes it can progress to something called the liver failure the chronic infection generally are asymptomatic and they go unnoticed that's why very important to pick up the chronic infections so whenever your child is symptomatic you should test for hepatitis infections and in the chronic infection do have a vague symptoms like weakness not feeling well fatigueness and sometimes abnormal liver test so if you are getting the abnormal liver test one should screen for the chronic hepatitis like b and c now let's see how this infections can be prevented most effective way of preventing hepatitis a and hepatitis e are having a very safe drinking water and hygienic food so avoid drinking water from a contaminated sources one should practice hygienic practices like washing hands before eating anything 
and also washing hand after using a washroom. Use filtered water at home. You are eating out, make sure that you are eating something which is freshly and completely cooked. It's very important in countries like India. Similarly, for hepatitis B and C prevention, one should use safe blood products. Ensure that all the needles that you use, they are fresh and also ensure that the razor blades which are used at the barber shops are new. Apart from these precautions, how we can prevent this hepatitis is by use of vaccines. Yes, vaccines are available for hepatitis A and hepatitis B. Hepatitis B vaccine is available in Indian immunization program which is sponsored by government. So vaccines for hepatitis B is available at free of cost to each and every child who takes birth in India. And this kind of programs are available in many countries across the world. But despite that, only 45% of the babies are actually get vaccinated in their first year of life. And this is the data shown by the WHO all over the world. For hepatitis A, the vaccines is also available and these are considered as an optional vaccine. So if you wish to vaccinate your child for hepatitis A, contact your pediatrician. So let's see once you get hepatitis A, how to treat it. Most of the hepatitis A and E are self-limited and they just need support to care. There is no medication which can actually cure the jaundice. So when you are getting hepatitis, use minimal medicine. Don't go for a medication which is not scientifically proven because these medication instead of treating hepatitis may end up in damaging your liver. For hepatitis B and C, there are good medications are available. When you are using antivirals against hepatitis B, they suppress the virus successfully for quite a long duration. And good to know that in hepatitis C, now there is a treatable finite duration treatment. In 8 to 12 weeks of the treatment, hepatitis C can be completely cured in 95% of the cases. So that's a good win for against this deadly virus. So when you are treating the infections like hepatitis B and C, what we are going to achieve is we are going to stop the further damage to the liver, thus decreasing the chronic hepatitis, preventing cirrhosis and liver cancer. So friends, we have seen in a simplified manner what are the different types of hepatitis infection occurs and how they can damage the liver. Similarly, the ways to prevent it. And there are treatment options available. So if you are suspecting to have hepatitis infection, you should reach your doctor, get it diagnosed and get it cured. If you find this information useful, then don't forget to like my video, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.